Okay, here we are um, opening up the Revo RL80. Uh, there's a single screw at the bottom near the HDMI and DVI outputs. Once you've removed that, um, it's merely a matter of unclipping the top of the case. For this kind of operation, I tend to use um, some guitar plectrums. They're plastic, they don't tend to mark um, plastic cases when you're trying to pop the catches. As you can see, uh, it's a fairly um, easy process, just going along the edges, gradually unclipping the plastic clips that hold the top on. This is pretty much the longest uh, operation in fitting some more memory in the uh, IR sensor assembly. OK, once we've got the plastic top off, there are just four screws to remove the metal RFI shield along the bottom. Once uh, these four screws are removed, the shield just lifts off. OK, here's where the second stick of uh, memory clips in. I'm adding another 4 gig here. And as you can see, it's fairly quick and simple process. Now I'm about to fit the header for the IR sensor assembly. And this has three pins out of four. The uh, red wire goes to the leftmost pin. When this one went in, it popped out one of the little clips, so I'll just push that back in. The last job to do now is to actually clip the sensor end uh, in behind the front panel. Uh, there's a, a wire for one of the uh, Wi-Fi aerials here which needs to be moved out of the way of the clip. And then you fit the sensor in with the domed side facing out to the front of the RL80. I find it's easier here to use a small flat blade screwdriver to just lever the back of the clip away so you can click in the, the sensor. It clicks in fairly positively. Next job is to bend the sensor assembly wire back. There's a, a part of the metal RFI shield that fits into this gap so the sensor wire has to be bent down so it goes below this. I'm just checking the um, the RFI shield here to, to check where it needs to be bent down. Now it's almost out of frame at the top here but you can see I'm using that small screwdriver again, not using the end of the blade but the edge of the blade to just give a positive bend on that wire and then clip the remaining part behind the MSATA uh, interface. 
Now all that's left to do, put the RFI shield back in place, and just drops in. And then put back in the four screws that we took out to start off with. Once the RFI shield's back in place, it's merely a matter of clipping back on the plastic top. Uh, the easiest way to do this is to locate the clips furthest away from the, uh, the DVI and the HDMI video outputs. Get that edge in and then just push down the rest, it all just clicks into place. final operation is to put back in the locking screw that holds the plastic top on. And there you are, extra RAM and a IR sensor fitted in under 10 minutes.